morning. Um, I thought I would quickly go through the last task that I'm about to set for Crest. Okay, so this week, I know some of you have uh, maybe joined the classroom a wee bit late um, and are, are not quite, maybe your project's taking a wee bit longer and that's all okay. Um, as the timeline goes, roughly everyone will be starting to finish this week. And I've got a few projects in that are looking amazing. I can't wait to see everybody else's as well. And what I'm doing is when you submit your project, I'm then giving you feedback. And what we're trying to aim for so that you can get a Crest Award is ticking off at least 11 out of the 15 criteria that are there. Um, and if you haven't quite got 11, I'm just trying to tell you, trying to give you some ideas of how to increase your mark to 11. OK, so it's worth trying to do that. When you get to the point where you've got at least 11 out of 15, I would like you to move on to this next task. And this is something that every single person needs to do to get a Crest Award. So even if you've worked in a group of three and you've submitted one project, everyone in that three has to do it. If one person that three doesn't do it, doesn't mean that you don't get yours. It's just that you each person has to do it for themselves. So I'll take you through the, the profile quickly just now. Um, so this is what I'm going to post up in a second. I've tried to explain that a wee bit for those people who maybe can't access the videos at home. And then it's just this link here and it will open up and this is individual to use. So it's a bronze award that we're going for. Um, we can just put my name or you can change it to your, your own teacher's name. Um, if that is, um, that's absolutely fine. You can just change that to your own teacher. Um, student, um, you just put your name in there and then what you call your project. So for example, what bacteria is found on your mattress? Okay, or why do cats purr? So once you've done that, that's a nice easy bit. Then you go on to this page here. And these bits here called criteria, these are the things that you will have seen in the assessor checklist. So those are the things that we have to make sure we're doing. And lots of you are obviously using that and, and putting those wee bits into your slides as heading. So for example, you've set clear aim for the project and have broken it down into smaller objectives. We have to say, where can we see that in your report? So you might say, um, slide one or slide one, paragraph one, something like that. So you can change those, just get rid of that and then just add in what you want to do. So you might say slide one. OK, you've explained the wider purpose of the project. That might also be slide one. So you just change it to where. So you're basically directing your marker. Where do you think you have shown that criteria? If you haven't, and I've said on your feedback, I know I can't see that, you can either change that and say, well, I think I've done that in slide five, or you can just say, no, I've not done that because you only need to get 11 of these. Most people here, you can add notes in if you want. You don't have to. So if all of this is blank, I think that's okay. You don't, it's optional. If there's anything you definitely want to say to the person who's going to mark this, that's okay. So that might take you a wee bit of time just to try and highlight where have I exactly um, shown that I have done this and then the last wee bit is just reflecting so add further thoughts on what you did and evaluate each stage so there's little prompts here for what to do try and focus on skills and what you feel like you've learned from doing your project a wee paragraph in there and then this bit's the last bit what role did your mentor have what I would probably say there is you've been on lockdown you've not really got a teacher as such so say something like um we were we were doing this as a an independent project at home some materials were provided to support us on google classroom something like that and then if you just will stick the date in there when we're done and then that's you finished and then next week i'll start adding in some different tasks for us to do focusing more on what you would be learning in s2 okay so that's us for now that's your very very last task but you only would complete this once you've got your feedback and you've made sure that you can get at least 11. OK, 11 at 15. OK, I think that is us for now. Uh, if you've got any questions, please just let me know. Um, and I think that is us.